hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make super delicious cauliflower curry with green peas it's a very easy and simple recipe and very delicious to eat so let's see the recipe so guys i have taken 250 grams of cauliflower cut them into pieces and wash them in hot water along with some salt this washing process of hot water along with some salt will remove all the impurities of the cauliflower so you also must wash them like this and here i have taken some green peas you may change the quantity of cauliflower and green peas according to your requirements there is no boundness the rest of the things i'll show you later at first we have to fry the cauliflowers so i'm adding some cooking oil into the pan and now i'm adding the cauliflowers into the oil the heat should be on medium and we have to fry the veggies until some little dark spots i'm adding a little salt with the cauliflower a very little salt so let's fry them now the veggies are cooked about 25 to 30 percent so now we have to take them off into a plate here are they now we have to add some more cooking oil into the pan keep the quantity of oil according to your wish there is no problem when the oil is heated well we have to add some cumin seeds i am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds half teaspoon of mustard seeds two to three bay leaves two to three red chilies a pinch of asafoetida now we have to fry everything very nicely the heat is on medium the color is changed as you can notice now we have to add some onion here i am adding about 1 cup of finely chopped onion we have to wait for a transparent color of the onion when the onion is transparent we have to add some ginger garlic paste so i am adding half teaspoon of ginger paste one teaspoon full of garlic paste along with the ginger garlic paste i am going to add the green peas here because i have taken fully fresh green peas so they need a larger time to be cooked so i am adding them here so now we have to cook the mixture for a while until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone and after that we have to add some tomato puree i am adding a puree of two medium sized tomatoes and after adding the tomato puree we have to add some spices also so at first i am adding salt to taste half teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of coriander seeds powder red chili powder according to taste and now i am not going to add the garam masala here because i'll add it later at the end of this recipe for a fully fresh flavor so now i'm going to add some water here washing the bowl of the spices and now after mixing nicely we have to cover the pan and cook the mixture for some time until the water is dried nicely and oil is released from the spices in between must uncover the pan and stir the mixture nicely and now the mixture is ready as you can see the water is dried and oil is released from the spices so now we have to add the cauliflower here the roasted cauliflower mix a little and now there is no need to fry them for a longer time now we have to add water for gravy add hot water if possible but i am adding normal water here hot water will give you a nice texture and nice flavor and keep the quantity of water according to your requirements there is no problem it actually depends on how much thick you want your gravy to be so i have added water according to my requirements so now let's cover the pan and cook the curry until the veggies are cooked 100% the heat is on medium and now the veggies are cooked fully i'll show you while checking and you can see the gravy consistency it's perfect for me if you want to dry it a little you may do that there's no problem and now i'm going to check the cauliflower it's cooked very nicely as you can see so at the end of this recipe i'm going to add half teaspoon of garam masala as i told before and some fresh coriander leaves for garnishing after adding garam masala and coriander leaves we have to cook the curry for about 2 minutes and after that our curry is ready so let's wait for about 2 minutes so that the flavor of coriander leaves and garam masala nicely comes into the curry and after that our curry is ready so let's turn the heat off and serve the curry hot this curry is very delicious to eat with roti chapati and boiled rice as well you may serve this curry with any kind of indian staple dish 
so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye take care